With bacteria, for the majority of natural sources, it's pretty safe to assume that there's going to be some bacteria in it. It's a matter of how much and whether it's harmful or not. Even your town's water supply, where it's been treated with a disinfectant such as chlorine, is still possible to get bacteria in there through things like distribution faults and maintenance. We occasionally see alerts that suggest that you boil your water and this is one of the problems where dirt has perhaps got into the line and the disinfection properties are not as good as they should be. Other sources such as groundwater for example can have contamination from things like agriculture or perhaps in a farm situation where there's a septic tank then some of the soakage can get into the groundwater. With rainwater you have things like birds roosting in your roof you also get a bit of dirt and some decaying leaf matter that will get into your tank and can breed bacteria. For treatment there are a few different approaches that you can take. The first would be a chemical approach where a chemical is added to the water to kill the bacteria. Depending on the disinfectant used this can have some side effects in terms of other reactions that go on with that disinfectant. It also requires a bit of maintenance and regular addition of that chemical to the water to make sure that the system is free from harmful bacteria. Another option would be to physically exclude the bacteria. For example, things like Yardia and Cryptosporidium can be physically excluded by a half micron filter. The trouble is if you want to scale that up to something like your whole house is that a half micron filter can be quite restrictive on the flow that you get. If you want to restrict bacteria such as E. coli which are much smaller than your cellular bacteria such as Cryptosporidium and Giardia then all of a sudden you reduce your flow rate even more so it becomes quite difficult and high maintenance to filter the bacteria out. And that leads me to the third option which is a UV treatment system. So a UV treatment system uses specific wavelengths of UV light to sterilize the bacteria as it's coming into your house. The advantage of this is it doesn't leave any chemical residues it doesn't leave any taste and it also allows you to really get that flow rate up so you can disinfect the water that comes to your ensuite for a drink for example or the water that sprays over you in the shower. So in summary for bacteria, bacteria is common in water and our recommendation is to assume it's going to be there and treat for it. For more information about any of the things discussed here please click on the link.